In many ways, in becoming a journalist, Wells found her vocation. She was always ambivalent about teaching. She always worried that she didn't have enough education. But she did, as a teacher and then later as a journalist, feel like she had things to say. She initially started in things like church newspapers where she wasn't getting paid. And then at length, she managed to actually buy a part interest in a newspaper and became the editor of the Memphis Free Speech and Headlight. Ida B. Wells was not alone. There were a few black women journalists during her time. But she was distinctive in the fact that she wrote about a variety of subjects. She didn't just write for the women's page. She was a political independent. She weighed in on things like disenfranchisement and segregation and so forth. She rapidly became really the most prominent black female journalist. She actually wrote during her early years under the pen name Iola, which she chose as a sort of countrified name to evoke her rural upbringings and speak to the fact that she wanted to speak to the common people. She wanted to speak to everyone. She was known for being very outspoken and lively. She got this nickname Iola, Princess of the Press. 